Hi, I'm Emma Cole, and I'm delighted to be taking part in the Daily Dose series for Actors of Dionysus. Today I'm going to be reading an extract from Hesiod's Theogony, and in particular, just for something a little fun this weekend, I'm going to be reading the extract involving the castration of Uranus. Now monstrous strength is powerful, joined with vast size. For of as many sons as were born of earth and sky, they were the fiercest, and were hated by their father from the very first. As soon as any of them were born, he would hide them all and not send them up to the light in a cave of the earth. And Sky exulted over the work of mischief, while huge earth groaned from within, straightened as she was. And she devised a subtle and evil scheme. For quickly, having produced a stock of white iron, she forged a large sickle and gave the word to her children and said encouragingly, though troubled in her heart. Children of me and of a father madly violent, if you would obey me and avenge the baneful injury of your father, for he was the first that devised acts of indignity. So spoke she, but fear seized on them all, nor did any of them speak, till having gathered courage, great and wily Kronos addressed his dear mother thus in reply. Mother, this deed at any rate I will undertake and accomplish, since for our father of detested name I care not, for he was the first that devised acts of indignity. Thus spoke he, and huge earth rejoiced in her heart and hid and planted him in ambush. In his hand, she placed the sickle with jagged teeth and suggested to him all the stratagem. Then came vast sky, bringing night with him, and, eager for love, brooded around earth and lay stretched on all his sides. But his son, from out his ambush, grasped at him with his left hand, while, in his right, he took the huge sickle, long and jagged toothed, and hastily mowed off the genitals of his father and threw them backwards to be carried away.